One Piece chapter 946. The hype just keeps going. For the most part, I think the majority of the community is still recuperating from the killer reveal from last week. And I think from now on, things can only get better for Wano. And this chapter proves that. Now, just like the previous chapter, this was a heavy action oriented chapter like we all expected, given how things have turned into a royal rumble from all sides, Luffy in the prison and the other straw hats in the capital. And I think this will probably keep going on for a couple of more chapters before we have a cool off period because it's kind of hard to see this whole scuffle end because either side isn't going to give in. But I guess while Zoro and Sanji hold things down for a bit, the other straw hats are trying to find a way to escape because they wouldn't want to waste their time and energy till the battle at Oni. Gashima, but I definitely like where this is going. Now let's start off with the capital. Now one of the better highlights was Hawkins versus Law, because these two didn't make much of an appearance in the last chapter. Now these two get into a fight, and what's very interesting here is that Hawkins infused his voodoo dolls with the bodies of Law's crew, which is very smart uh, from uh, Hawkins' part, proving himself once again to be one of the more smarter supernovas. Because now Law has to find a way to get around Hawkins without hurting his crew. So this is a win-win situation for Hawkins because Law doesn't only have to deal with Hawkins, who's a problem by himself, but he cannot hurt him. But given that Law is also smart, he has to get around Hawkins somehow. Maybe by using Amputate because that wouldn't hurt his crew and that would get rid of Hawkins' spell as we saw in the beginning chapters of this arc. But the problem here is obviously Hawkins hurting himself intentionally to hurt Law's crew. So I'm kind of excited to see what Law is going to do next. Now, they are making Kyoshiro to be one hell of a problem. For what it looks like during his scuffle with Zoro, it seems like he had the edge because Zoro was gasping while Kyoshiro seemed pretty okay. The fact that Zoro was held back means that Kyoshiro is the real deal. And again, I said this in my previous chapter review that Kyoshiro is probably the strongest swordsman on the samurai side of things, right? So Kyoshiro is the real deal because he's holding Zoro back. So I'm guessing he's around Zoro level or even stronger because from what it seems like, He's putting a lot of pressure on Zoro and you could tell Zoro was having a hard time with Kyoshiro. So seeing Zoro actually get pressured is actually kind of refreshing because it's been a while since Zoro has actually found someone who could actually, you know, give him a fight. And finally, Big Mom versus Queen. Obviously, this is going to be the highlight of the chapter for everyone given that, you know, Queen supposedly got one shot by Big Mom. Now, I say supposedly and I will get back to that later in this in this video. Now, Oda loves these types of cliffhangers where something major happens but we don't see the aftermath. And this leads a lot of people to jump to a conclusion. Luffy vs Cracker is a prime example of where this happened whereas people thought Cracker actually got one shot. So going off of things that happened before, I think we have to wait till we see what happens afterwards till we make judgment on Queen. Now it was also revealed that he's a Brachiosaurus, I think that's how you say it, uh, which is also an ancient zone like the other calamities. Now two years ago I actually made a theory surrounding the idea that he was going to be some sort of ancient scorpion zone because of certain clues and hints we had beforehand. But I guess you win some, you lose some, right? Now, funny enough, I did actually see someone say on YouTube that he was going to be this specific type. So shout out to those guys. And since all the powers of the Calamities have been revealed, I'd say King probably has the best one. I think each of them have specific traits that they're strong at. Jack probably has high endurance and durability. Queen might be the powerful in terms of physical strength. And King, I, I think he's probably all rounded in combat and probably really versatile as well. But I'm actually looking forward to how these guys fight, how Commander Class Zone Endeavor for users fight. I'm especially looking forward to their hybrid transformation because that's when they're at their strongest. Now obviously Big Mom being the Yonko that she is, it's a no-brainer that Queen cannot defeat her. But I still think Commander should be able to resist the power of a Yonko for a bit, right? We have to take into account that Queen went full transformation, which is arguably the weakest form for Zones. So personally, I think this whole thing isn't done yet. And Queen will probably get back up and do something, right? And I also feel like it's way too early to have Queen defeated here and now. We've always known that the Oshirko thing was going to play some role in all of this. But I think having Luffy manipulate Big Mom to defeat Queen is too basic of a plot line. And that is something a lot of us saw coming from a mile away. And so I'm hoping that this isn't the end for Queen. And I'm definitely excited to see what's to come. Because it seems like things have taken a sharp turn ever since Yasu's death. And taking Big Mom into account, another Yonko into account just makes things a lot bigger than it should now we are on break next week but i feel like we have a lot of things to talk about for the next two weeks so while it does suck i'm not too mad about it because there's a lot of content in this chapter that can be expanded upon 
and discussions. But overall, this was a really good chapter. As I said before, I feel like Wano has now gotten to the point that it can only get better. Again, just my quick thoughts on the chapter. Comment down below what you guys think, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more One Piece content on this channel. It is Pharaoh, and I will see you guys later. Peace.